Hello friend, in today's session we will learn how we can connect the GSA model with Arduino and whatever the message will send, uh, we send on this GSA model that message will be displayed on this LCD board. So this is a simple project but in this project we will learn how to connect GSM with Arduino, how to receive the message and how to display that message on the LCD. In this complete video we will see the programming part of this project we will also see the how to connect each hardware with the arduino so i request you please watch this complete video so that you will get idea about each and everything about this project okay now you can see when i reset my arduino i am resetting my arduino so arduino now reset so receive message from arduino this is the first message display on the lcd and second message is waiting for message so waiting for message means arduino is uh, arduino is now waiting for your message from another number on the gsm so you can see i have i have so you can see i have inserted one gsm sim card here so that that having some number and i will send the message on that gsm and that message will be displayed here so you can see this is my mobile and the sim card number already saved in my mobile so what i will do i will type one message on my mobile so you can see i will type the same message live hello So I have type hello message and I will send that message you can see send. So once I send the message just wait for some second the message will be display here. Hello so you can see same, same message display there. Now I will send the another message on that mobile number again. So you can see I am fine. So this is the second message I will send from my mobile on the GSM model. So send. So wait for some second again. So you can see I am fine. So whatever the message sent from our mobile number to the GSM model that will, that will be displayed on this LCD. So I show you the live demo. Now we will see the hardware connection of this project. Then after that programming part of this project. I request you please subscribe my channel. Currently you can see I have uploaded more video on the many video on raspberry pi arduino then python programming then some uh, webinar so that uh, it can grow your career so if you want to learn something from me it is free and you have to just click on this subscribe button and all the video it is it is very unique and you will learn definitely many things from me i upload a mostly video on raspberry pi mostly video on iot then arduino there are different types of project i have explained and each project having the programming part so please subscribe my channel please support me and please enhance your knowledge by watching my video okay before start the hardware connection first see first we will see what are the different types of hardware you require so first you require this lcd model arduino uno hardware so you can see this is the arduino uno and then uh, you require the third important component that is sim 900a you can see this is the sim 900a you require this sim 900a then after that you require some connecting wire so this is the connecting wires you require now what we do we will connect one by one by one hardware uh, with our arduino okay now first we will connect the lcd model with arduino so whenever you purchase the lcd from amazon or from flipkart you will get only this led uh, you can purchase from your nearby shop also you will get only this led so how to design this uh, this uh, so how to design this circuit on zero pcb or on breadboard i have already explained in my previous video the video link given in the description also you can see the thumbnail of that video on the screen so please watch that video so from that video you can able to design and develop this circuit by yourself okay so after you design and develop that circuit by yourself now we will connect one by one pin with the arduino so you can see on the arduino we have the pin number easily available here so you can see 0 1 2 3 so all these are pin number available so i will connect one by one pin to the arduino from the lcd okay first pin i have to connect is ground pin so this is my ground pin of lcd so i will connect this ground pin of lcd to the arduino ground so i will connect here to the arduino ground so from the breadboard connection from my previous video you will also get the ground pin whatever pin i am connecting here that pin you will find out from the uh, uh, last video so please watch that video to, to design this circuit so after connect ground pin next pin we have to connect the vcc pin so this is the vcc pin of my lcd so i will connect this vcc pin to vcc here again okay vcc pin also connected with the vcc <coughs> to the arduino now the next is uh, rs pin from the lcd so this is my rs pin or uh, rs pin of the lcd so rs pin of lcd should be connected uh, 
आर एस पिन ऑफ एल सी डी शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू टू नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो सो आई विल कनेक्ट दैट पिन टू टू नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो नाउ द नेक्स्ट पिन इज एनेबल पिन सो एनेबल पिन दिस इज माई एनेबल पिन ऑफ एल सी डी सो एनेबल पिन शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू थ्री नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो देन आफ्टर दैट यू कैन सी डी फोर पिन ऑफ एल सी डी दिस इज द डी फोर पिन ऑफ एल सी डी एंड दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू फोर नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो देन डी फाइव पिन ऑफ एल सी डी सो दिस इज माई डी फाइव पिन ऑफ एल सी डी सो डी फाइव पिन ऑफ एल सी डी शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू फिफ्थ नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो देन डी सिक्स पिन ऑफ एल सी डी सो दिस इज माई डी सिक्स पिन ऑफ एल सी डी एंड दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू सिक्स नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो देन डी सेवन पिन ऑफ एल सी डी सो दिस इज माई डी सेवन पिन ऑफ एल सी डी इट शुड बी कनेक्टेड टू सेवन नंबर पिन ऑफ आर डी नो ओके सो आई विल अगेन रिपीट माई कनेक्शन आई हैव कनेक्टेड द वी सी सी पिन टू वी सी सी ऑफ आर डी नो ऑल द पिन वॉट एवर माई पिन आई हैव कनेक्टेड फ्रॉम दिस सर्किट दैट पिन ऑलरेडी अवेलेबल वेन यू वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो सो यू विल गेट ऑल द पिन फ्रॉम दैट वीडियो सो यू हैव टू कनेक्ट वन बाय वन पिन जस्ट लाइक दिस सो वी सी सी पिन वी सी सी ग्राउंड पिन टू ग्राउंड देन आर एस पिन इज कनेक्टेड टू टू नंबर देन एनेबल पिन इज कनेक्टेड टू थ्री नंबर ऑफ आर डी नो देन डी फोर इज कनेक्टेड टू फोर नंबर D5 is connected to five number. D6 is connected to six number, and D7 pin is connected to seven number pin of Arduino. So this is the complete connection between the LCD and Arduino. Okay, once you connect the LCD with the Arduino, now the next part is we have to connect the GSM model with the Arduino. So whenever you purchase this SIM uh, 900 GSM, you can see this is SIM 900 GSM or any GSM. Uh, the GSM having all the pin. So we will use only three pin from here. So you can see I have. Uh, so you can see on the uh, on the gsm model there is a ground there is txd there is rxd pin so same uh, you can purchase the same gsm model i have purchased this gsm model from the amazon and once you purchase a gsm model uh, next part is it is very important to place your sim card here so right now there is no sim card but you can later place your sim card here and like this and once you place you can click on this so sim card will be fitted here okay so this is the first part now the next part is this antenna also so whenever you purchase the gsm model this antenna is not connected here so you have to connect this antenna also here like this just plug here and move this screw inside so once you connect the ant antenna once you connect the all the thing next part is ta first ground pin from the gsm model so this is first pin is ground pin from the gsm model and this ground pin should be connected to ground of arduino so i will connect that ground pin to ground so here i have connected that now the next part is txd pin so this is the txd pin of gsm model so txd pin tx pin of gsm model should be connected to 10 number pin of arduino so this is 7 8 9 10 so this is my 10 number pin of arduino so i have connected the txd pin of gsm model to the 10 number pin of arduino now rxd pin so rxd pin of arduino oh, sorry rxd pin of gsm model should be connected to 11 number pin of arduino okay so i will repeat the connection so ground pin from the gsm model i have connected the ground pin of arduino txd pin of gsm model i have connected to 10 number pin of arduino and rsd pin of gsm model i have connected to uh, 11 number pin of arduino okay once we once you do the hardware connection all the hardware connection now next part is we have to connect our 12 volt 1 ampere adapter so you can see this is the rating here 12 volt 1 ampere so this is the 12 volt 1 ampere adapter you can see this is the rating so this 12 volt 1 ampere adapter require for this gsm model so you can see this gsm model and here you can see power supply of that gsm model so after you do the connection just connect your 12 volt 1 ampere adapter here like this and then provide the power there so once i provide the power okay so once you provide the power to gsm model you can see there is one led start blinking there and this led is very important so once our gsm get range capture 
then that LED stop blinking and it will start blinking after some second. So wait for some second to capture the range. Okay, now you can see LED has detected the range because blinking speed is reduced. So to verify whether your GSM model is working or not, you just send one, you just send, uh, you just call on that GSM and if that number is ringing, that means that GSM got the range. So I will again call on that same number. You can see I am calling. So this is the number that I insert, inserted there. So I am calling on that number. So you can see I am calling. So if it's, yeah, you can see that's a ringing is there, ringing is there, that means GSM is working perfectly. So in this way, you can test your GSM is work or not. And once you get the ring, that means your GSM working. Now you can start sending the message on that GSM module. And after that, you can provide the power supply to the Arduino from your laptop. Just, uh, just plug the Arduino pin here. So you can see this is the D type connector pin of Arduino. You have to just plug in that pin here. And this usb pin you have to connect to this usb pin to your laptop so this is very simple connection i hope you understand the connection later you can see insert the sim card provide the power and your uh, your project will start working okay let's start the programming explanation so before start the programming explanation i would like to tell you you require this arduino you know software so if you haven't installed the arduino you know software in your laptop Please watch my this video, Protein Simulation of Accident Detection video. So in that video, I have explained how to install this Arduino Inno you know, software. This video link also given in the description. So you can watch that video and you can try to install that software in your laptop. Okay, after you install the software, just double click on this software. So once you double click on this software, the software will be open there. Okay, once the software open, just go to the... Uh, uh, before that, uh, you can see, you have to download this program from my Google Drive link. The Google Drive link given in the description of this video. So you have to download this program GS uh, receive message from the GSM Arduino hardware. So this is the program file. So you can download this program file from my Google Drive link. <coughs> so once you download Google uh, this program file, you will find this file. So it is very important to download this program file before uh, before my next step. Okay. So once you download the program file, just go to the file of the software, then go to the open. Then after that, go to that folder, wherever you place that folder, downloaded folder, just go to that folder and select that file, receive message from the GSM, you know, file and click on open. So once you click on open, that file will be open and you can see this is the file. Then after that, you are using the Arduino, you know, then uh, you have to do some uh, basic setting. So first setting is go to the tool and after that, select the board and then AVR board, you have to select the Arduino, you know, then after that tools and uh, in the port so once you connect the arduino to your laptop so let's say i am connecting arduino my laptop so once i connect my arduino to my laptop so you can see tools port so you will find the your com port so com port arduino you know. so in that case your port will be number will be different but you, you have to select the arduino you know port okay so this is the basic setting okay now uh, after you do the basic setting we will uh, i will tell you importance of each and every line from the code so first line is has include liquid crystal dot so whenever you require lcd module in your project then you require this library then software serial dot so we are using we are connecting the uh, gsm pin that is rxdx pin to 10 number and 11 number that is the different than the internal serial pin so if you want to use any pin as a uh, serial communication then you can use this software serial library then software serial we are defining the 10 as rx pin of arduino and 11 as a tx pin of arduino then here you can see we have uh, connected two number pin to the uh, rs pin then three number pin to enable pin then four number pin uh, is d4 d5 d6 and d7 so whatever the lcd connection we